And I want to welcome my first guest, William Carshare. Thank nice you so much you, for coming in. My pleasure. Thanks I mean, I, I did a little bit of a deep dive mm -hmm. on Homes for Heroes, mm -hmm. and it's really, really, I mean, in one sense, it's very simple. Um, you're, you're helping set up mortgages and doing a real estate transaction mm -hmm. for those that have done the most for our, for our society, um, yet at the same time, it, it, it's a, a great situation. Tell me more about it. The program actually started on uh, September 11th, 2001 when a group of uh, uh, concerned realtors in Minneapolis, Minnesota uh, watched in horror as the towers were coming down. Mm. Uh, and they asked themselves, what could we do for these people who are running into buildings where everybody else is running out? Mm. So they, came, they birthed a program called the Homes to Heroes program, and essentially what it does is it gives realtors the ability to give back 25% of their commission to the hero. Mm -hmm. And it's across the country, it's in all 50 states. And the common heart between all of the people who get involved with the Homes for Heroes program is that we believe that the real heroes in our society are not in Washington, not on the gridiron, mm -hmm. not on the basketball court. Mm -hmm. okay, Not on the movie screen. No, no, yeah. no. They're, uh, they're the people that we see every day within our society, in, in, our, um, in our towns, mm -hmm. that are keeping us safe, uh, keeping us healthy, all right, and uh, doing the things that, you know, we need to preserve our society. Yeah. So, you know, I, I came from a uh, military uh, family background. My, my dad was in the Navy for 20 years. He enlisted in 1943. 1943. You know, World, World War II. Uh, my uncle was a, uh, a captain on a, a light destroyer in World War II. And my best friend is uh, or was a, uh, a gunner on, on a, a Huey back in uh, the v Vietnam War. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's, it's my way of honoring them and giving back to them. I never served, okay, yeah. for, for a lot of different reasons. I, I, I didn't. But it's kind of my way of making making up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a bit of a, a video that we uh, kind of queued up here. If we can uh, get a shot of this, it just tells the story of Homes for Heroes <clears throat> and a little bit. If you are a hero yourself or know someone, how you can access it. Or now, for the heroes of our community, the dream can be real. My my dad enlisted in World War II, 1942. I then saw action also in the Korean conflict in the early 50s. My uncle was a captain on a light cruiser in World War II. My best friend is a Vietnam vet, and he was a gunner on a chopper for his tour of duty in Vietnam. What I'm doing as a result of being an affiliate with the Home for Heroes program is that I give a rebate of a large portion of my commission back to the person that I'm working with because it's our way of saying thanks and giving back to the local community who's supporting our families, who are keeping us safe, teaching our kids, keeping us healthy. Homes for Heroes' mission is to provide extraordinary savings to local heroes who provide extraordinary services to our community every day. Uh, both my grandparents were actually in the Army and um, growing up, I heard stories from my grandparents, and then I heard stories from my parents. And uh, it made me realize, um, due to the extended leaves, um, really how much they gave to their country and how it impacted you know, the family life. And th that commitment to the country and that level of sacrifice, I, I feel they deserve, you know, I want to call it preferential treatment, but I, I feel that they, they deserve a little bit more Society. Over the years, I've you know, closed dozens of loans for either teachers, cops, nurses, doctors, you name it. And uh, one thing they've always asked me is like, well, is there a special program you know, due to the fact that I'm a teacher or I'm a cop? And I've always wanted to answer yes, but I just never had a program like that, uh, you know, that I can utilize. And Homes for Heroes has given me the ability to actually give back to these individuals. I feel honored and privileged to be involved such a great program like Home 
homes for heroes. Get your dream home at significant savings. You serve us. Now it's time for us to give back. Visit homesforheroes.com, the world's largest hero saving program. Well, you know, and you think, you think of that, that 25% of a commission, it may not seem like that big a deal, but on some of these real estate deals, at least ones that I've been involved with, that can make the difference between oh, yeah. the loan going through or not going through. You bet. It's not, it's not hundreds of dollars, Marty. It's thousands of dollars. Yeah. Uh, and for, uh, uh, for a young family just starting out uh, as a first-time home buyer, several thousand dollars can make the difference between making it and not making it. Yeah. Okay, so it, it does have an impact, and people really appreciate it. And i got to tell you, that there's nothing more important to me than being able to sit across uh, a closing table and being able to thank somebody for serving our community like that and being able to present to them 25% of my commission. It's, it's money well spent. Wow. How yeah. many of these have you closed, if you don't mind my asking? Well, <laughs> um, last year I, I, I closed about, about eight deals uh -huh. with the Homes for Heroes. Okay. I mean, I, I just... I, I don't just do Homes for Heroes work, yeah. I do none also. So, But <clears throat> out, out of the ones that I did last year, about eight of them were Homes oh. for Heroes, yeah. Now, let me, while I have you here, let me pick your brain, because this okay. is a scenario that happens over and over again. Guy buys a house in Fairfield County, you know, the, so the American dream, Center Hall Colonial, three bedrooms, you know, uh, uh, four baths, uh, two-car garage. He's living the life. He figures, okay, I'm going to buy it low. It's going to appreciate. I'm going to sell it. That's my nest egg for retirement. This is how it was all supposed to work. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden now, it's 2008, 2009, maybe started in 2007, these houses, these McMansions that people bought, and they said, oh, this is going to be my retirement. All of yeah. a sudden, they're underwater. They're right. you know they're they're losing. Mm -hmm. Give me some hope. Is, is there signs that it's coming <laughs> back? I mean, I feel yeah. like there's this great sweeping economy that's going across the country, but somehow it's missing Connecticut and specifically the real estate in, in Fairfield County. Give well, me some hope. I, I, I can tell you that the, uh, the the real estate market in, in Fairfield County is improving. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not improving. Fast. It's not. It's not going to be a, a, a bubble response. Uh -huh. It's going to be a slow, steady, sustained increase, which I've seen, especially over the last five years. Uh, it is. It is improving. And when I say improving, what what does that really mean? Yeah. That means that the median values of single-family homes are improving. That means that the the days on market for a property to sell is actually shortening. Okay. Uh, so these are the kind of indicators what, what was that we're the, What at. was the high water mark for real estate prices, say, in Fairfield County? What, what, what was it, 2008, 2009? I would say between 2007 and 2008, that was the high water mark. And then from there, it uh, slowly ebbed down, and then it took a real strong dip in, like, 2009, 2010. Yeah. It was... It was uh, so what are we talking, 50% loss in value, at uh, least? In, in some instances. It, it's tough to... You know, re real estate is a, is, a, is a local service market. Yeah. Okay, um, it, it, it's not the. It, it's it's like if you were to ask me what's the weather out there today. Yeah. It's not the same temperature and, and, and conditions in Norwalk as it is, say, like in, in Hartford. Okay, yeah. it's it's different from town to town, but uh, it, it it is improving o overall. So if you go with the rising tide lifts all boats, can, is it? Over optimistic to say the tide is beginning to rise. I'd say the tide is beginning to rise. It's not going out. No, we're not, it's we're not, not going losing out. Ground. No, 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 no. It, it's 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 a slow, steady improvement. I mean, I can tell you, you some horror patience. stories. I mean, guys buy these huge big mansions, three point four million, and yeah. they're selling them for like you know one point five, one point oh, yeah. six, and oh, they're yeah. not even getting showings. Yeah, you know, people don't want to come in. I know. So. It's it's uh, it, it can be a ch it can be a challenge. It, it's I, I just got to think with the economy improving, with the stock market improving, and and you know uh, low unemployment. Somehow, mm -hmm. no matter how hard they try to screw things up in Harvard, I don't want to draw you into a political discussion. <laughs> but no matter how, it's almost like you can't. There's so much pressure. I mean, New York City seems to be doing good, although they they, they had this uh, um, you know big deal that didn't go through there too. But don't don't get me started. Homes for Heroes, how can people get in touch with you if they have a friend, a family, someone that would be eligible for this? Um, do you just Google Homes for Heroes? You, 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 can, you, can, you can Google Homes for Heroes. You can Google my name, William Carshare. 
You can go onto Facebook and look at uh, Fairfield County Homes for Heroes. I have, a, I have a page up and there's plenty of information there, plenty of ways for, to, to get in touch with me. So be more than happy to work with any hero out there for, you know, for, for, to either buy or sell. It doesn't make any difference what they're looking for. It could be a single family, it could be a condo, it could be a multifamily, we don't care. Yeah, you I know, mean, whatever's it's, important I, lo I love this program birth on after 9-11 what can you tangibly do for these these heroes and it's really great thank you so much i really appreciate you coming my pleasure in. marty homes for heroes thank you it's a very worthwhile program